when you want to make an emo, your own emo, you get rice. Get rice, get some sugar, um, boil the rice, leave it to cool, to get cold a bit, with some kind of, uh, with some sugar in it. Then after, get that rice with its sugar. Cover it into a, a polythene bag, a polythene paper. Then after that, you can make it a hole down. After making a hole down, put it there, cover it. For seven days, get out this rice and uh, mix it into water. You do the same as you have done. Those microorganisms you have grown there, then you start getting it into, like, it, can, it begins working so like this. Now, this? if the other one was a little bit cheap, and uh, you can make it by yourself. Uh, yes, it's a little bit cheap, but uh, we are looking when you are doing extensive farming. We have piggare on a large scale. If you begin that, uh, you find at times it can kind of delay. Waiting for seven days, when you want to work on one structure, it may take some time. So we resorted to this one, which is a bit cheaper. But when you don't have it, we have the skills. We do make ours to make sure that our emo is maintained. Uh, pigs, uh, which, which were kept in uh, concrete uh, made structures with cement and the like, they were too expensive. And for me, when I'm beginning a venture, I make sure I look at where I put in a little, but get a lot. Like emo structures, you are seeing. These emo structures, you have to dig a pit down, three feet. Then uh, you have to power in this sawdust. You can go from where they are plumbing, uh, they are doing lumbering. You can access these ones. Then uh, you power it up to two feet of that pitch. Now, the one feet... The one foot that remains on top, you preserve it uh, to, cover, to be covered by this trough. So this trough is seated on a firm ground. It is not part of the ditch of the three feet. It is just on top where you put your uh, uh, trough for feed and the trough for collecting this uh, leaking water from the pig that you cannot take. Uh, this also makes it hygienic. When you want to have an emo structure, it has to be dry. Because if this water happened to flow and come in here, it will mean now this may not be emo now. It becomes, it can actually harbor some infections. It can harbor those fungal infections. Even it can produce heat. Which heat can even affect this pig? The ones and it, it, it may get into swine fever maybe. The virus can have good environment to, to grow. Now, what is emo? Uh, emo structures... Uh, that is, in full, it is using inorganic microorganisms. Now, the science there, when this pig uh, uh, releases its waste, the microorganism, uh, bring me that t t bucket, that, um, t uh, that uh, drum. So you find, bring it for me. Now you find uh, those microorganisms, when you, it is called vetiline powder. The vetiline powder, you, what is my tea no container of vetiline powder? Do you have it? Uh huh. You bring it here. Bring it here. Uh, it from, there. from here. So now, the vetiline powder, what is it? Now, this one, you have to, uh huh. This tin called vetiline powder. Uh, the vetiline, this vetiline powder, uh, you get the powder from it and uh, mix it into water. The whole of this can can accommodate five jerry cans. This can mix five jerry cans. But uh, you try to estimate, uh, like this one, we normally make of two jerry cans. When you put two jerry cans here of water, we get some like um, uh, three spoons of veteran powder. Put it. You cover it well. You cover it well, and you can put in the uh, maize bran. Now, this maize bran acts as food for these microorganisms. So you have to leave it for a period of four to seven days. From four to seven days, microorganisms will have started growing. Then you get your water, this water, 
you will see it even having some microorganisms which have started growing. So, when you just get have to smash it into, into the structure, into the structure. So, these microorganisms will grow. After growing, this pig, as soon as it is, drops its waste, those microorganisms will have much pride and they start eating on it. In three hours, you will not see the, the waste where it has gone. It becomes dust. It breaks it into dust. And that dust will keep on coming in, coming in, coming in. For around uh, five to six months, this dust will rise and you find it getting into soil. Then that is the time you are supposed to remove this soil dust and put it into the farm. How much do you, do you have to pour in, in there? This is actually, even if it is uh, half a cup, it's enough of this water. Because there's a, there are a lot of microorganisms here. Mm. You, when you, you spray, you sprinkle around, there is a lot of microorganisms here. But, and after putting, they keep on multiplying. You don't have to put a lot. They will multiply themselves How around. How often do you do that? Uh, this has to be, you have to add in ever after three months, three to four months. You can even go to four months provided you keep your structures dry. So if you put in, if they are, it is dry, you go at six, that's when you add in more. Then uh, for removing this, it can be six to seven months, depending on how much volume the pig is producing. And those microorganisms, mm. after eating all the waste, mm. won't they be harmful, mm. become harmful to the animal? After this, some time, because you are saying they, they eat all the waste, mm. and when they, they are done, mm -hmm. No, uh, the micro, as I've said, it is micro. That means they are, they, they are invisible. That's, that's the, the first thing. Two, they only feed on biodegradable products, materials that, are, that can decay. So if something is living, it cannot even may have touched it, but uh, even they, they, uh, we put chachu, that's what they feed on. But something which can decay, that's what they feed on. So we have not had any of our pigs maybe finding when it has some issues in the legs and like, no. But it just deals with that waste. And the pig cannot stop passing out waste. So as it keeps on wasting, uh, producing waste, the microorganisms feed. The other is vet what? Vetline powder. Vetline powder. Mm. Does it have a substitute? Yes. Uh, before I started using this one, I used to do my own emo. Oh. What are the disadvantages of the, this emo? Uh, the disadvantage of emo, one, uh, if you are to use this for agricultural use, maybe you want to put into um, into the plantations. This doesn't have enough nutrients because some of the much of the nutrient is taken over by the these uh, microorganisms so this may not be so nutritious to fertilize the the ground uh the also the the, um, the disadvantage of it uh maybe uh it can be uh being expensive because now you have to put in some money to buy this because this um we get it at 40 40 000. so uh if somebody doesn't have money it becomes hard to get this. But what we do, we make sure we teach these other people, the outgrowers, we move with the outgrowers uh, in this business. So those who do not do this, we have always radio programs where we teach them how to make the other local ones and then they start making these emo projects. And actually many have come from, have gotten uh, this breed of Cambraf by getting their local pigs, we cross them with our maid. Then they also get the same breed, and they have constructed these structures using the other local way of making emo from that rice. And they have, they're excelling. How many do you have on this farm? Uh, currently, we have, um, we have uh, 78 old pigs. But uh, of recent, we have just supplied our area MP, Dr. Emile Kugonza. We supplied him 30. Then uh, our... Uh, MP for Ganga is the East. Uh, 
Honorable Biamukama Isubi, the Minister for Works, uh, Transport, Transport. Uh, for him, we took 50. And uh, here we have IMESCO. We have organizations who order for piglets here in order to give their people when, when they want to go into this venture. In selling, how much do you sell? Uh, a piglet is at 200,000. A piglet of six weeks, that is one and a half months to two months. We don't sell pigs before they get to that age. Reason being, when you give someone a piglet that is still breastfeeding, it becomes very hard for this pig to grow. And this person may hate the project. So for us, after weaning them from their mother, we put them on uh, pellets. That is called the winning feed for, for, for younger pigs. So uh, these pellets, we make sure that at least this pig, piglet, gets it for two to four weeks. That is uh, two weeks to one month. In that time, we, can, we are winning now our piglets. And then somebody can buy and take away. Is your family involved in this project? And how? Uh, my family actually is involved in uh, 100%. Uh, reason being, uh, when I'm not around, my wife is the vice to me. So for me, at six, I make sure I'm up to feed these pigs. Uh, because, uh, I, 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 yes, I have workers around, but uh, to me, I need to see my animal has really had enough food, um, has had a good night, uh, the nipples are working well. Then the workers also come in to clean around, also to support me in the feeding. Then uh, as I'm doing this, my wife also the other side. Either she can be in poultry or she can come and work together here with our workers. For us, we work as one. When you find us in this structure, in this style, you may not understand who the boss is. <laughs> All of us, you, I bring Chachu, he brings what he connects water, he brings these foods around, the peelings. So in the morning, we all have to be there. I think that's why I don't grow old. Uh, hey, I do exercises. <laughs> and uh, to, to put that aside, uh, you are talking too much of you and the wife. Uh, don't you have children? Don't you involve them in your business? Yes, my children, actually, just because they are not at school. Mm. I have the Kalito one who is in nursery. But also, like in the poultry project, my child is there. Then this project alone, that child who is, who is in nursery even manages them. Because with emo structures, she doesn't have to come and collect the waste and like It is just to put in. We just give her, she comes with this, we measure with this. We tell her you put two or three, depending on the size. But these ones, we don't allow her to come because they can uh, injure her. But these small ones, she comes with a plate and put, get the uh, maize brand and put, maize brand and put. Then from here, we also, she also goes in the poultry. She likes poultry. She goes and plays with those birds and, you know. So my family is 100% involved. And the two, when it comes to school issue, I know these days they are more practical now. Last time I was sharing with my uh, daughter, who is in P6 at uh, Notre Dame, she told me when it comes to, when they talk about the piggery, they say, Rachel, tell us, because we have pigs at home. They are point of reference at school because they know they do this work and they have been doing it better. <laughs>